the St. Mary's Riverkeeper really view our responsibility of preserving the river the way it is. The river today is designated as a recreational river, which means that it is suitable for swimming as well as fishing. Some rivers are designated as water sources. Our river is not clean enough to be a water source, but it is designated for recreation. And that's important because the designation is what we want to protect. We want to protect it as a swimmable river and as a fishable river, and we'd like to think a drinkable river when the procedures are put in place if we need to have that water for drinkable and potable water. We don't have too many battles to fight in terms of polluters and contaminants in the river, but we do want to conserve it and preserve it just as it is for our children and for the children to come. The river typically has been, uh, in fact, it has a very wide and long history it was used back in the day when uh, lumber was a big industry here and sailing ships from Europe would come into the St. Mary's River to the lumber yards and collect lumber and take their produce back over to Europe. It was a, a really a river that notices history back into the, the 1500s with the local Tamaquan Indians and the uh, French that came into the area and the British and Spanish and used the boundary line of the St. Mary's River as a kind of a, a separation between the Florida Spanish and the British in Georgia and to the north. 